Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Phantom Strategies. So let's talk about Bitcoin. Uh, we had a couple of uh, uh, negative days in Bitcoin. Um, we were trading at around 36, 3700 a few days ago, and we had a uh, you know a, a drop in the market overall uh, in the last few days. So let's talk about all that. Uh, before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification and the bell icon so you can get this content right away. And if you think these videos are helping you with your trading, with your investing, then please do give me a thumbs up, uh, post a comment, let me know what else you would like to see on this channel. All right. Um, so let's get it started. Uh, so Bitcoin is trading at 35, uh, 40 right now. Uh, so in the previous video, I, I talked about this, you know, this, uh, this wedge formation that is happening. And I talked about like, you know significant resistance on top from the moving average and also from the uh, the trend line uh, that that will act as a resistance so I was keep on saying that please make sure if you are like you know trading like you know you're taking periodic profit and not just sitting on those profit in this kind of market because this market is more of a traders market rather than like investors market what I mean by that is like if you have a, if you do the swing trade, you'll be more profitable rather than like just sitting on the trade than just buying and holding uh, until like the market gives us uh, gives us like a different signal. It's it will remain as a trader's market and especially when the price action is below the moving averages like 50 day, 20 day, 9 day. So all the you know a long term and the short term moving averages we are below that so that's obviously that tells you that we are in a bear market and we are in a down channel all right and plus on top of that we have this resistance that is coming all the way from the you know the initial drop that we had back in november so uh, so all in all there is significant level of resistance that we have to get through now this doesn't mean that we cannot get through that resistance it just means that bulls will have to work harder in order to get through that resistance um so the couple of things that could happen the obviously scenarios can be like that we can have three scenarios here we are below the support line of the you know the lower channel and we are b uh, below the upper um, you know the resistance points as well um so we need the bulls will have to work pretty hard in order to regain those level and if they and they need to do it sooner rather than later because if they don't do it sooner then you will see the bears will try to have another go at pushing the coins lower and <clears throat> retesting the level of around you know the 3200 and 3000 in bitcoin <clears throat> So that's a very realistic scenario if the bulls don't uh, recapture the upper levels fairly soon. Uh, so please do keep that in mind. Uh, the other thing that I have mentioned in the pre previous videos is like, you know, let the trade come to you. Don't try to go out and like start looking for trade that where I can, you know, uh, you know, try to like do, uh, get in and get out. Let the like, you know, trade really come to you. Like what I mean by that is like, you know, there will be a point where you will be like, okay, now this is, this might be a good time to buy. All the signals are like, you know, getting, you know, the conditions are oversold, you know, the bears seems to be not making the new years low i mean those things will happen you know and when that happened you know make sure that you have enough capital in your account to make the trade you know or go small if you if you don't if you're not a regular trader then you know when you when you see the support levels when you see the support levels like 34 3500 support let us say support level uh, you know from the previous like low so those are some support levels so you keep those support level in your head and like okay i will go like 20 percent in the position right now and if, if it comes down to maybe let's say 3200 then I will go another 20%. So have those mental um, support points in your head where you will add on to the position. So don't just go all in and, and all in all one go. That way you will out of like you know five times maybe you will get lucky and you will once you will hit that rock bottom but the four times it will i'm telling you i have done enough trading you will in those four times you will you know uh, you will go in and you will be on the losing side and to regain all that profit it will take much longer so please make sure if you're not an active trader then go slow and like you know and let the trade come to you protect your downside and the upside will take care on its own all right that should be your motto when you're trading 
all right any market not just crypto if you're trading the stock market uh, stock market commodities forex whatever you're trading you know make sure that you're taking care of your risk beforehand all right so that's pretty much it so just to recap we need to regain the support we need to regain the support level in the bitcoin that needs to we need to get over this uh, 36 3700 mark that's the only way we can you know and we need with some conviction with some volume if we can do that sooner uh, perhaps early in this week then we can have some momentum and we can you know test the 4000 or 4200 level into uh, you know coming days and coming weeks until then I'm skeptical about this uh, right now I'm not touching this market until it shows me some positive signal uh, on the upside right now we, we just need to market uh, we need the market to figure out what it wants to do before we jump onto it go small or like you know or stay on the sideline all right that's that's the uh, that's the thing that I would like to say all right so that's all uh, again if you are new to the channel please make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, hit those notification and the bell icon let me know what other coins you would like me to do and uh, we'll uh, we'll talk about them all right talk to you soon